What up, Hyper Change? Welcome to another episode. We've got really interesting news out of Texas today. There is a new announcement, a report from Bloomberg um, about a top secret battery that Tesla is building just 40 miles south of Houston in Angleton, Texas. This is a 100 megawatt project, apparently um, a grid or utility scale battery um, designed to potentially help stabilize the Texas grid, which we all know suffered from those huge blackouts recently um, just last month. So first of all, it's an incredible humanitarian story um, where Tesla moving at a breakneck pace to bring a new technology um, to market, you know, battery storage. That can be a huge, huge game changer and help for the grids um, like they did in Australia, which was suffering from a bunch of blackouts. Having a huge bank and sort of reserve of batteries holding on to energy that the grid can tap into when it needs it is just a huge game changer for stabilizing the grid, offering renewable energy, and just giving flexibility to an already straining energy system. So I thought it was epic to see Tesla move into Texas and help this. And if you think about Tesla, they just set up in Austin. It's essentially their new world headquarters. Elon Musk moving to Texas. And then right as they're pushing in Austin, the first thing that happens is a massive power outage. I mean, I, I, you have to think the first thing Elon Musk was thinking is this can't happen again. If we're going to have everybody move to Texas, we better fix this grid. So, and this is totally not confirmed by Tesla. This is just a report that's been circulated from uh, Dana Hull and Noreen S. Malik of Bloomberg. It looks pretty legit though. Um, they even have this sort of drone shot of the actual battery themselves. They have Tesla people working there. So it's pretty much all but confirmed um, that this is Tesla. Tesla and these are Tesla batteries helping to stabilize the grid. So as much as, okay, this is, you know, tens of millions of dollars contract. This is an awesome little project. Um, I think it is a much bigger microcosm for what is about to come as the next phase of Tesla's growth. We all know they make electric cars that are awesome, but really this is an energy trifecta company. Ways that produce, store, and consume energy are all products that Tesla creates in this sort of new clean energy flywheel they are trying to bring to civilization. And so a huge piece of that that has not gotten enough love is the energy business. Within the Tesla energy umbrella, we have the massive battery projects like this Tesla one, you know, the mega pack, these huge batteries that stabilize the grid. Additionally, all the way down to tiny little batteries that you keep in your house. And also also under that Tesla energy umbrella, we have the solar roof and Tesla's energy generation products, ways to renewably create energy, not just store it. And so in the past couple of quarters, we have seen absolutely astronomical growth for Tesla's energy business, which has hit its stride, gotten past the solar city doldrums, hit revenue of 752 million in Q4, up huge from 436 million in Q4 uh, 2019. So this is now a $3 billion business growing rapidly, just hitting its strides. This is kind of, you know, hidden within that massive conglomerate of Tesla's auto business and all the other stuff they're doing. But I think this is just as big of an opportunity. The bigger the problem, the bigger the opportunity. And I think what this new Texas wave of blackout showed us is just how unstable the grid is. Not only does it rely on fossil fuels, but it's extremely susceptible to new weather events, um, to growing populations, the strain of climate change, all of this is putting increasing pressure on what is, you know, a multi hundreds of billions, globally, a multi-trillion dollar energy industry. And so in many ways, this Tesla project, the speed at which they set it up, the size of this battery, able to power 20,000 homes, 100 megawatts, if that's actually what the numbers are, um, is incredible. And I think we're just getting started, even diving deeper into the energy business. We can see that Tesla's energy storage deployments, which is how many of these mega batteries are deploying per quarter, hit an absolutely insane record of 1,584 megawatt hours in Q4. For, um, this was way more than a double from the 530 watt hours um, in Q4 2019. So right now, I think one of the most underappreciated parts of Tesla's business is the changing the way that not only, you know, we drive around with our cars, they're electric, but how we power those cars. Because instead of all plugging in to this massive grid, which is how everything works, um, and frankly makes us super susceptible to these crazy weather events, I think the future is a decentralized power grid where we're all generating solar uh, power on our solar roofs, um, built by Tesla, storing these in batteries, and then having these batteries connected um, in sort of a microgrid fashion. So if one part isn't sunny, we can send energy from the sunny part of the grid over there. Bam, it all happens with Tesla's AI software auto bidder to optimize these battery and energy creation assets. And so I think what, what we're seeing here right now is an incredible sort of use case validation um, and, and just coming of age moment for Tesla's energy business. They're sort of, you know, downplaying this project. Um, they haven't talked about it too much, um, but I think fixing the energy grid. And if you think about what's going to happen as we plug in, you know, five or 10 million electric cars onto the grid in the next few years, it's just going to put in increasing strain um, on an already strained system and thus putting, you know, even more in theory, economic um, incentive for us to actually create new ways to help the grid. And so as much as I see the current U.S. grid as a as a risk for our you know sovereignty of our country because it could get hacked. Um, if you know climate change happens, another wild event, and millions of people lose power again, that can just get really ugly. There's a huge economic toll. So as much as I see that as a growing problem, I see 
every American needs to get off of this grid system of energy and move onto the sustainable Tesla system, which is backed by batteries and solar panels and not relying on fossil fuels. And to see somewhere like Texas, so oil rich, so natural gas heavy, um, you know, just kind of the last place you think would push to move to renewable energy as fast as possible, do it because of climate change. This is just a microcosm of what we're going to see happen. Um, and I think the demand for Tesla's energy business right now, we're at a $3 billion business, but they're just doing a tiny little fraction of one tiny piece of the te uh, Texas grid, you know, they're stabilizing this part of Australia. In the future, um, I just see this as an incredible growth avenue for Tesla. And um, I just think this is the, the one of the brightest and most understood parts of the company is they're not just going to change how we get around our cities, but they're going to change how we produce and store all of our energy. Every single house that you probably walk by has uh, energy hitting it that they're not being used. That is all about to change. This is a massive opportunity to decentralize the energy system, make it renewable, and it's all gonna happen because of Tesla. Um, and it's all gonna happen because of their combination of battery technology, these best in class batteries they can deploy that work along with software auto bidder to actually control and optimize these battery assets to plug in and maximize their value relative to this grid system. So uh, the first thing I saw when I th saw this news was, wow, this project that Tesla's doing in Texas is going to be the first of dozens, if not hundreds, if not hundreds of dozens, all across the U.S. to stabilize the grid. That's going to be amazing for our energy sovereignty. That's going to be amazing for energy prices. That's going to be amazing for the car carbon footprint um, of the U.S. Um, and it's going to be an amazing multi-tens, potentially hundreds of billions of dollars in revenue business for Tesla. This is why I love this company. They're changing the world. They're making it better. And they're making billions of dollars for their shareholders who believe in that cute, cleaner future while doing it. Gotta love it. Gotta love what Elon Musk is scheming here. I'm so curious um, if we could get Tesla or the company to comment on this actual news, say if it's legit, say what they're up to, because I would just love to learn more about this project. So if you have any comments, schemes, questions, clues, leaks, leave it in the comments below. This is HyperChange. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, producers, fun in the channel. Um, but here you, you heard it here on HyperChange, Tesla on the cusp of hitting a billion a quarter in energy revenue. And that is going to be them just getting started um, to changing our entire global energy system. Anyway, this is HyperChange. See y'all next time. Peace.